Yo, I'm Carla. I'm Eureka. And this is The Bench. DSTV Prime is over. It's over. Yeah. Finally. Why do you mean finally? Because Sundance won and it reached a point in the season where like, what would we... Even but there's a lot of things that happened in the yeah, last game. It is, it there's is. A lot of, there's a lot of things that happened. But before we get into the football, how are you doing, fam? Easy. What? There's a lot of grey hair. Sorry, I looked at you, oh. then I looked at your hair. And then I was like, I see a lot of grey hairs and you also look like you don't brush your hair. Okay. Marika always comes on the show every week. Not one nice thing to say. <laughs> How about you do that? You're six foot tall. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that a compliment? I guess. That's a nice thing to say. Okay, fine. We'll go back into football. Do you know where we are right now? Windsor is here. Yes. I don't understand how you are sleepless. Because I'm not cold hearted like yourself. You know, if I'm always warm, joyful, you never feel the breeze. Okay, fine. Colin is also coming with a tax for the wrap up of Come with the, the truth. DSTV the Prem. Truth. Um, but before we get into the DSTV Prem, some like cool things were happening in the world of football. Um, closer to home, so Banyana Banyana Superstar Linda plays for Glasgow City, I think. Is Glasgow in Scotland? Yes. Not Ireland. No. What's the capital of Ireland? Dublin. Northern Ireland? Um, oof. Oh, that's a tough one. I feel like I know this though, but yeah. Okay, anyway. It's in my mind. She is a superstar in Banyana and is probably going to be a key role at mm -hmm. the 2023 Women's FIFA World Cup in New Zealand and Australia. Um, but she's won a league title with her team, which is like major. Shout out. Shout another, out, Linda. Another foreign. Who's the best Banyana Banyana export? Of all time. I think that's a question that we should also because everybody was giving us flack last week for for me. I won't include Narika because you did say Benny, right? I, I did, said, but I, I hear what you were yeah, saying about uh, about Lucas, Lucas right? Yeah. So I said Lucas, yeah. and then everybody on the socials is like Benny must have been driving cabs or No, no, no but I hear what you're saying yeah, yeah, because like, like that's he goes saying, to right? Leeds and they will so, shut the city down for him. So if we now flip it. You know, sister rolls up. Who's the best banana banana export of all time? That's I, I wouldn't know off the top of my head. Maybe Tembi Katlana, because she played. I was about to say, but she's been injured and she yeah, just started like, now because of what she has. But she's always been abroad. Yeah, what she's accomplished. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like also, Jermaine's think, not bad. Now, like currently, yeah. Yes. Also, she's much younger, but also, I think it's a it's a comparison because of. Women's League football in South Africa hasn't been to the same level as men's. So we're and, not there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. But I mean, who is the greatest export at this stage? Like in 2023, if I had to put your head on the block. Timby for like, me. Like who would it be? Yeah. I think it's Tim. Timby's got enough. It's a tough one. It's a she's tough got one. enough accolades and the fact that like she went abroad at a time where like globally. <coughs> it wasn't. Women's football wasn't on yeah. par and like with men's football. But... Yeah, I think the biggest name, at least from my recollection, one of the first footballers I knew was ex-captain Janine. Yeah, but I mean, did she play abroad? Yeah, That's the thing. For who? she did play abroad. For who? I think she played in Scotland as well. She, no, I think she may have played. Yeah. Played maybe in Sweden. May have. We have to like yeah. fact check this, but yeah. I think like when it comes to like being a household name, mm. it might be her. Yeah. But I think impact and like. Being that guy or that woman. Yeah. I think, for me, it's Tembi. Yeah. That's an interesting one. I wouldn't mind, like, sitting down. We can day. speak about it, though, yeah. because we're going into the yeah, 2023 the Women's World Cup. Women's Cup. Yeah. So stay tuned because those chats are going to come up. Also, Senegal are the best footballing nation on the continent. Like, ranking was Like, CAF rankings? Or like, just, just certified. They've won all major CAF um, trophies and tournaments. So they won the AFCON. Mm hmm which is their first AFCON trophy, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. They then won CHAN. Okay. I forgot what CHAN stands for. But they won the CHAN tournament, which is a major CAF trophy. Okay. Then they won the beach soccer. Damn. That's the African insane. beach soccer. So that's, those are the three major CAF competitions in men's football. Okay. And they've won all three. And then to top that off, the under-17 um Team won the AFCON, the under-17 AFCON. So, like, straight from seniors to youth, they just... They just, they've have, been winning trophies. Have, and then Have they won a AFCON? No. no. So... I said in men's football. Oh, okay. Yeah, give them that. 
greatest African team in men's football greatest right now. African men's football team. Yeah, yeah. that is it. But that's yeah. crazy, hey? One day, I wish that would be our nation. One day. In the green and It's loading, I can feel it. Green and gold? Yeah. Green, gold, white? Green and gold. Green and gold. Mm-hmm. The green and gold. But let's get back to the DSTV Prim. It has come to an end. Con and I have been doing this for seasons now. Yeah. Um, and I think the more we watch the DSTV Prim, the more opinions we have. Yeah, the more frustrated I become, if I'm being honest. Like, 100% mm-hmm. honesty. You know, we do the whole content. We promote football. We yeah. promote you actually sitting down. And I think, for me, as we started this whole thing about actually watching the games in order to develop a um a substantiated argument you know when yes. we speak about substantiated um, no i'm trying to present argument. like it's it's factual what we talk about yeah? yes we fans we come with opinions but like don't say that you have an opinion about the Bafana team uh, and you don't know who should be there or south african football when you've never laid your eyes on um, any South African footballing game. You know what I mean? True. Like, Bafana, local football, domestic football, youth football, none of it. You haven't watched any of it, but when it comes to World Cup time, uh, why are we 100 and this in ranking? Why are we never... But you don't, don't know. You don't understand. So, I think, we what, we've been doing this for three, four seasons now? Three seasons. Three seasons now. Um, it's really opened my eyes up to the the beauty of the game yeah in south africa especially the fans and the amount of support that we have True. and then the frustrations okay but let's talk let's go i guess this is not frustrating we're gonna wrap up season season mm. three of the dstv prem gallons out of here so last week we spoke about polacon and city yeah. being promoted. promoted so they will be in the dstv prem next season gallons got relegated they lost their last game to Swallows 2-0. No. Everything was goal difference. Everything was you can't lose your yeah. game. Um, before they played their game, it was actually Maritzburg in the relegation yeah. zone. But Maritzburg played in the week and not over the weekend on the final day. They so drew they 1-1 to Sundowns. Sundowns, which I think gave them a lifeline because Gallons lost. Oh. But I want to first speak about Gallons. They got relegated and they went all the way to the semi-final, semi-final, semi-final okay. yeah. of the CAF Confed. Knockout stages. They were there. Like They, they went to knock. Yeah. There was a time when they were like in Liberia and they only had 11 players. Yeah. And they were held hostage. And all the then, then, the, yeah, then, then the admin was, was being just, held hostage. There's a lot happening. Hostage. There's a lot happening. Imagine getting relegated, but you went all that way in continental football. Yeah. How? So, I mean, like, there's, there's positives to the seasons, mm-hmm. positives to the club as a whole. I think my take from it was I saw Malum Gav on Twitter mm. um, this morning when, like, Gallant's, you know, Gallant's yeah. relegations confirmed and then media out there just start, yeah. you know, putting tributes to them going <laughs> down, right? And then, like, you see it was Budvest Woods get sold to TTM. Yes. Season later, um, TTM status gets sold to Gallant's. Yes. Third season, Gallant's relegated from the PSL, from DSTV, from top flight football. So it's from where Budweiss was as 100 a 100 years, 100 years in South African football. They are like footballing heritage. They weren't a really bad club. They were well managed in terms of on the pitch, you know, maybe. They just needed the finances. The scenes, really. Finances wasn't the greatest. So you sell it off to TTM. TTM. Yeah, who remembers them at this stage? But why don't you? Why don't the owners just like invest in the in the club that already exists? Why are you buying it to like fund your own club? I don't know. For me, it comes across as like a status oh. purchase. I don't so know. If I had, if I had, if I had, you know, just a couple hundred millions lying around, like you'd be Narika FC. No, I'm owning a football club. Yeah, and you call it Narika FC. No, why would I call it that's, FC? that's what's happening in South African football. We have Royal M. What does the M stand for? I mean, Kaiser, if I speak, if I speak, Kaiser if Chiefs? I speak, Kaiser Chiefs, what does the, <laughs> if I speak, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, so Gallants are out of here. Marisburg survived and they're actually going into the playoffs against Cape Town Spurs and Castric Stars. Castric? Castric. Castric Stars. Castric Stars. Um, Sean Bartlett is the coach for Cape Town Spurs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think he is, yeah. So we could see Sean Bartlett. Coaching potentially up in 
top flight football. But there's this conspiracy, guys, because I've been doing this for three seasons. And I've always seen Maritzburg at the bottom. But I never see Maritzburg relegated. You want to talk about owners and people mm -hmm. in South Africa football pumping money into a club. I think you have to have a certain name. And Maritzburg may get relegated, but I feel like they'll be a lifeline because of the status and the name brand and what they bring to the league. There's going to be some millionaire over there that's going to assist them in a very nice way, I feel mm -hmm. like. But if it doesn't happen, you know what? It doesn't happen. But I don't think. Do you think they're going to get they're going to get it through the playoffs? I think they have a really good squad. Mm -hmm. They are more than capable of getting to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So. It's just about whether you want it or not. Cool. And now I'm just going to do a very quick rapid fire from the bottom up to the top. We already know Sundowns won. But what? Like what? From, from bottom to top eight? Yeah. And then we do eight. Like what kind of happens? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Chippa United finished 14th. They found themselves in safety zone. Nah. Uh, Marisburg United finished 13th, which is quite crazy because for the first half of the season, they were second. Oh, Richards Bay. Yeah. Richards Bay. Yeah. Oh, we sorry. Said I said Marisburg. Yeah, no, Richards Bay. Richards yeah, they, they Bay. Richards Bay. Like, they sorry. played like Marisburg. They played <laughs> back, yeah. Richards Bay. That was crazy. Um, that was followed by another KZN club. Amazulu finished 12th. What yeah. do you think Mr. Zungu thinks about that's a, that's a, I think I'm just going to hit okay. you one of these. Like, uh, Royal AM finished 11th. Yeah, thumbs down. TS Galaxy finished 10th. Season. Let's go up. I think they struggled they, last season. They struggled and they turned it around, especially this season. Yeah. People didn't think they were going to do well and they, they said, I think that's a plus for them. Golden Arrows were two points out of the top eight, finishing in ninth. One of those ones. Yeah. So essentially, they were Golden Arrows, Royal M, Amazulu, Riches Bear, and Maritzburg. Five KZN teams. Yeah. None of the teams secured a top eight finish. Yeah. That's just an L for KZN. It this is an L. Your, KZN L. was catching L's. Um, going into the top eight. So, with two points, and I think it was that win against Gallants that yeah. knocked Gallants into relegation that helped Swallows secure that top eight, eight. Top eight, well eighth done. position. Well done. Uh, your team, Sekukune, seven. Seven. You know, I have such a brilliant record. I don't think a team that I've supported so far in the Blum. past three seasons have finished out of the top eight. Blum. Nah. They got that, that doesn't count. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Stellenbosch finished sixth. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, they're known for that. They should have, I think, I think as a whole, they should have had a better season yeah. with the breakout players. But you know what? I think there's only so many times you can say developing football. <laughs> club. And I think next season it's 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 kind of some guy. Come on, give us more. Uh, um, then your ex club Kaiser Chiefs fifth out of Champions four. League out of. Continental that football. Was, that was, I think that was, there was a stage where they were almost they lost fighting their last game. second and then they just, how do you like, when it's crunch time, when it's like. I think they went, I think they've like, they, they have a like collection a, of 12 L's this season, yeah. which they've now set a new record for the most amount of losses within top flight football in the new era of the PSL. Yo, for them. It's 12. Yeah, for, for, them. For, for Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, for Kaiser Chiefs. Specifically for the club. Um, but Otto Zani was actually saying, like, he's confident he'll be back next season. I think they should keep him. I saw a lot they of... They didn't keep Malum Gav. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you know what? I think Malum Gav, compared to Otto Zani, knows who he is. Yeah. Knows what he should be given. Yeah. And if you're not going to give him okay. that um, support okay. as a club, there's no point of having him there. So Otto Zani, he's moving like... I'm trying to think of like a really great analogy about someone who... Just is not afraid. Roman Reigns. You know Roman Reigns is going to go to WrestleMania, not get pinned, walk away undisputed champion. You know he's going to go to the Royal Rumble, probably walk out as champion. Like every single day, you expect to see the guy. I saw Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns in Mall of Africa. I'm going to see him with the undisputed championship. Regardless of where you see him, that man is a champion. That's what it is. Kaza Chiefs and Otazwane are not champions. They went on a season. No, but he's moving like one. 12 losses. Yeah. No finals, no trophies out of continental football. Poor. At what point do you start calling a big club not a big club? Poor. No, I, yeah. 
from from the pitch, from the football pitch. On yeah, they don't play like a big club. Yes, they peacocking right now. Yes, that's what it is. Um, Cape Town City fourth. Good. Yeah, I guess good, if, it, if the top four men's good, continental football, good, they yeah. could be there, right? Yeah, I, I mean they dropped off from I think last season didn't they finish second? They were in Champions League football with Sundowns yes. last season. I mean this season, so yes. yeah, I mean they stayed abreast with the people in second, kind of. So then uh, we knew we know, and we always we've always known who finished first was Lamelody Sundowns, but. It was the race for second, the difference between Confederations Cup and Champions League the football. Real, the, the real championship. The, the, real, real, <laughs> the real, the real, the real one. Like. Malum Gavin Supersport versus Orlando Pirates. It did come down to the last day. Supersport finished third. Ooh. Pirates finished second. Damn. Malum Gav has Confed. Pirates and Jose Riviero have Champions, Champions League. Champions League football. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think... It's a it it says it speaks volumes to say that finishing third for Super Sport is a disappointing season. Like that's that says a lot, you know. I think it speaks more to the character of Pirates and the team Jose Ramirez no, 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 managed like, right to be like, two second. We're gonna we're gonna chat about Super Sport first, right? Because third, okay. I mean, right? So Super Sport, the past four seasons or so, have been underperforming. And for us to sit here... But that's also because their goal scorer Bradley has been injured. No, but like that's... They, they've just been underperforming as a club. Okay. They were under Katana Timbo. They were just not doing the best, right? Okay. Here comes Malum Gav. You expect them to probably perform the same as previous season because of what Gavin Hunter has been doing at Chipper United at Kaiser yeah. Chiefs. Like, he was also trying to find himself. Takes control of the team. Brings back old players. Brings back players he's familiar with. Yeah, when all you're of back a sudden, home, you're back home, guys. He's out here finishing third. And then that's overachieving from what anybody expected at this stage. So I think if I'm going to pick my team of the season, it's probably going to be them and a coach of the season. So that's what I'm saying. It's we're we're not there. We're no, not no, there. I'm talking my personal opinion okay. about Super Sport. I must say that's, we're not there team of the season no, yet. My personal opinion is that okay. Super Sport finishing third, it's two thumbs up for me. Okay, great. Pirates finishing second. That's, so you know that emoji? Do on, you on, think on, on, on what's up? That's, that's what it is. That, <laughs> one there. that one there. <laughs> Do you think that Pirates potentially could be the team to challenge Sundowns? Challenge Sundowns. Yes, I think Sundowns finished the season on seventy points. Pirates yeah. finished the season on fifty-four. If I do quick math, that is sixteen point difference. Yeah, that is a sixteen point difference. I mean, do they have the quality to, to bridge sixteen points? points? You know or what, even what, touch close to that. What always happens every single year is that Sundowns win the league. Then there's players in that Sundowns camp that realize, you know what, maybe the money is not everything. Mm-hmm. I need to go play competitive football. Okay. Right? So I think the Pirates want to close that gap. You poach those type of players. And that then you go to the clubs that overachieved. So you go to Supersport. You go to... Setukune. Sekukune, you go to maybe a TS Galaxy if they had another breakout yeah. star. Um, Arrows all, always has a good breakout star uh, as well. But like, Finishing K- out of top eight, but there's always You go one. to Cape Town City, you poach a player like Kanisa Mel, finish 12 goals this season. Those are the players that you need to bring into a pirate side and be like, you know what? You did well at clubs that overachieved. But let me take you. Champions League football. Let me upgrade you. That's that's what they need. So you're saying Sekukune is your team of the season? Not Sekukune? Super Sports. Super Sports your team of the season. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Pirates, you know what? When I look at it, are they, they in the argument? I think... Sundowns are undoubtedly, but like... I think I might be yeah. leaning to a Pirates because they've just played more... Into t- they, when they lost games, it wasn't like their football wasn't entertaining. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. They still played entertaining football. It's just that the combos weren't communicating for them to mm. win that game. Um, and you did speak about Mayo. So top goal scorers in first position, draw on 12 goals each. Uh, Peter Shalilile and Kaniso Mayo. We actually didn't speak about Mayo enough this season. We didn't. We didn't. But, but, but. Only play in South Africa that can score free kick. No, Lala K also. Oh, yes. But, but, if you go to our socials and maybe go back a season or two and we said top five or top ten signings to watch, I forgot what the post was. Kanisa right? Maya. Kanisa Maya's name is there. 
That's all I'm saying. Okay. So <laughs> when we sit here and we talk about top tier football knowledge, I test. We knew we saw this guy playing for Richards Bay. Yes. We were like, brother, you're gonna come to Cape Town City <laughs> and then you're gonna do but and I look at him. He's he top goals. goals of the season and he's probably gonna be the player of the season. So that's all I'm saying, guys. We Who? when we City's when we, player of the season. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Peter Shalilile expected you playing in an all star team at Sundowns. Yeah. You have all the players around you. Um, I think I did expect more goals, but he he did have a dip in his season. He was out injured. He wasn't playing as frequently as he has in previous yeah. seasons. Um, and then the third, I'm just going to say top three, Saleng, 11. Yeah. But Saleng is also in there in assists. Yeah. Eight assists. Eight assists. So what's that? 18 goal involvements this season. So 19. 19, sorry. 19 no, goal that's, involvements. That's, you know, the other day, yo. To divert a bit, somebody only said they 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 understand maths when it's spoken out, and then we were like, How? "It's giving maths lit. It's giving <laughs> it's giving words. What uh, what maths words? Story I'm words. Up. I hate those. It's giving I those. hate those. That's a yeah. So yeah. I hate yeah. those. I hate those so much. But there's a lot of goals. Do you know what? I actually think we need to figure out the total number of goals scored in the season. This season. Because you know, people are always coming. There's no goals scored in the PSL, yeah. and I think. There's a lot of goals being scored in the PSL. But it is nice to see Maya up there. The PSL also released their list of nominees for their awards coming up soon. Um, I have a lot of things to say about this. PSL Footballer of the Year. Who do you think the nominees are? Oh, well, you know who the I know. Are. I know who the nominees okay. are. I just don't think they made the most sense. Okay, but, so yeah. the Footballer of the Year, Footballer of the Season Award is voted by the 16... Um, head coaches okay. of the PSL teams, right? So the coaches will vote who the football of the year is. Tebojo Mokwena from Mamlodi Sundowns, mm -hmm. um, Saleng from Pirates, mm -hmm. and then Ronan Williams from Sundowns. Opinions. Thoughts, feelings. Ronan Williams, Williams it's hard to say he doesn't deserve it. I what, mean, you do, play, you do play for Sundowns. Yeah. So that that's, a, that's already a, a mark or points against you if mm -hmm. anything because you play for the best club okay in the in the league so i think a lot of keepers especially all over the world that play for top clubs um, personally it's it's hard for them to win these awards because we like you have the best defense your ball your team keeps the ball for 60 minutes yeah. of the game right then we also look at some of his performances right the season. Shout out Ronwin though. He's our boy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> we, We're doing both parts. Uh, this, you know, guys, we, we speak the truth regardless, right? We Stop love our boy we though, Ronwin. We, 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 we love, we love what you do for the game, but we're going to give you the truth, right? If you were, set, we speak like you were sitting here between us. Right, right, here, right? I think he's actually bigger than me. So no, but I'm saying that, that yes. right? We're not going to lie. Um, do you, okay, wait. I know you're going to speak about Ronan Williams, but Saleng, Mukwena Williams. Is uh, there anyone you would sub out of this three and who would you bring in instead? Player of the season. The the, the only person I'd probably sub out is Mukwena and then put in uh, Kaniso Mayo. Kaniso Mayo? Yeah, for what he's probably done. For, for City. For, for City, yeah. But the fact that not one super sport player got nominated for it it also kind of, it's kind of mad because they played well. They played well this season, but it's also one of those situations where, yeah, they may have played well as a team and there were no individuals that stood out. But like, surely, surely Pers somebody needs to get awarded, you know, from that team. Personally, Ronwin, your boy on the bench, we love you. But I'm taking out both these Sundowns players and I'm not even a Sundowns supporter. And I'm putting in, like, the fact that Timber's not in that conversation to me is insane. He um, has been the most impactful player at Sundowns. Yeah, but you're talking about, like, I wouldn't... Ronald Williams broke the single-season clean sheet record, right? Okay, well, then I'll just take out Mokwena yeah, and put in Zwane. Mokwena was probably essential to Sundowns' run to reaching 70 points. And, uh, they, you know, they, did, they actually broke, like, so many records. This they always break records, right? But, like... I think Timber Zone There's is so the best much. footballer in South Africa right now. Yeah. I don't like as the best footballer in South Africa, how do you not get a shout for yeah, player but it's of all the about, year? It's all about narratives. 
It's really all about now. I mean, if it's voted for the head coaches, it just speaks volumes that, oh, this guy won it last season, or he's always been at that level. So why are we even going to put him in that conversation? You know? Well, um, then there's players, player of the season. So Saleng is in that chat as well, yeah. along with Ronan Williams and Timber Zwane. I think he will win that. I don't think any player who's playing in the PSL is going to look at a list that includes Timber Zwane from this season and not Give it to him. I think Saleng deserves both, if I'm being honest with you. His impact on like South African football and Pirates this season. Just the reason like, they finished second? Yes, definitely, actually. Okay? 19 you goal got, You got you know what, 11 goals, 8 assists. You were on. You were trending every week, basically. They were calling Pirates as one stage Saleng FC. That's what was happening. Like, well, we went to a Soweto derby, and the moment this man touched the ball, 90,000 people were screaming at him. Do you think he could go three for three? Because he's also one of the nominees for the MTN8 last man standing. Saleng, uh, Miguel Tim, and Amazulu player Malulega. George Malulega. Yeah. So, Saleng could go three for three. He could go three for three. He really could he go could, three yeah. for three. And then, DSTV Prem coach of the season, Malum Gav from Supersport United, Rulani from Sundowns, and Jose Ribeiro. That's a fair... Like that's that I think that out of the, the four awards, that's the most fair nominees. Your team finished one, two, and three. Yeah. So who does it go to? Gavin. Malum Gav. Malum Gav. I think it goes to Jose Ribeiro. I think Malum Gav because of the way he took super sports and what he's done also personally on a personal level as a coach. Okay. Then like to flip the whole narrative. People said he was washed and he said like, if there was a word for a comeback of the year, Agreed. you'd give it to him, right? Okay. But I think there's no word for comeback of the year. It's coach of the year. I disagree. I think Jose Riviero. And I know you guys are going to watch this and you guys are going to be like, oh, why didn't we say Rulani? No, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Give us a couple of minutes. I'm going to get to why Coach Rulani does not get it, at least from my side. Yeah. We're going to get it. So those are the PSL Awards um, nominees and they will be announcing that. There's also CAF Confed. We did speak about Gallons being knocked out. They lost 4-1 on aggregate. They also lost at home 2-1. What a way to end the season. I think they, will be, they were trending on Twitter because people were like, how do you get relegated? Yeah. You lose in the confed and you guys are hosting your club awards. Yeah, but I think lot. players need to just, like... You need to be, a, you need like, to be celebrated for what you've done. Like, you put in the work. They, what was it that um, Giannis said? Is the season a failure? No, no. because players... You, you you start the season working towards a goal, mm -hmm. right? And every season, it's a new goal. I think it's hard, in, especially in footballing terms, because there is relegation and mm -hmm. promotion. But at the end of the day, you were trying to build something. Did you fail um, achieving the goal? It depends what your goal was, depends right? It depends what the goal was. If and the goal was just to go as far as you think you can go yeah. as a club, then you didn't fail. Yeah. If the goal was to win it and you didn't achieve it, also, again, you didn't fail. You don't catch an owl in this i think you fail in footballing terms but I, that's what i'm saying like for them to have an awards there's clearly players within a yes. squad of 25 that progressed there may have been players that regressed there may have been coaches mm -hmm. that you know were highlighted for the contributions of the game so at the end of the day just because you were relegated doesn't mean that you don't deserve to host an awards and appreciate those who Contributed. There was also CAF Champions League. I was there live at Loftus, right? Sundowns versus Moroccan side, we died. The first game ended zero goalless draw, two red cards for Sundowns, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. They're hosting the Moroccan team. They said, if you're wearing yellow, you can just walk into the stadium. Really? I stood for 90 minutes because there was no seats. I also saw two fights next to me. Like, it was actually insane, but I did wear yellow. Yeah. Um, I think watching Sun, like, seeing the Yellow Nation in action is insane. Um, Timbazone took them up 1 0. No. Then they conceded. Then Peter Sh Shalulile took them up 2 1. Then conceded an own goal from um, Mvala 2 2. Mm -hmm. And for a second, I didn't understand why everyone was sad because. Yeah, like. It was 2-2. I expect. I was like, oh, damn. Now i got to stand here for another 30 minutes mm. <laughs> because of extra time. I'm tired. And, like, it, we're standing in the sun and whatever. But game was over. Yeah. Away goals. Away goals, mad. I mean, 
all competitions should have away goals. What's the whole point of playing home and away in front yeah. of like a toxic goal? What's, what's the other word? I, I'm a toxic. toxic. In front um, of home fans, in front of ultras. Yeah, a raucous crowd. I yeah. Say that, right? It takes a lot for a team to come all the way into your home stadium and leave with something, even if it is two goals in a draw. So, so yeah. this is another season Sundowns fail to make it to the final mm. of the CAF Champions League with the hope of winning it. I think they've like, their run is insane with, they were like quarterfinals, 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 semifinals, quarterfinals. Um, and this is why I don't think Coach Rolani is that guy. He's, you know what? I actually tweeted this. I'm actually very proud of this okay. team. Coach Rolani is in his Pep Guardiola Champions League era. Okay. Those who know, know. All he wants is to win Champions League, and I don't think he's going to get it. Yeah, I think also because of, remember, a lot happened this season for Sundowns. They were three coaches, then it turned into one, yeah. then it turned out to him being the head coach, and then now, like, yes, you get your 70 points in the league. They played amazing football, but... They only won the league title. Yeah. They could have done a treble mm. out of cup competitions. Mm -hmm. Like, they've only won the league title, yeah. which is, like, you do this all the time. Yeah. Give us something new. Well, I said narratives, you see? Give us something new. As narratives. I said, he's in his Pep Guardiola era, Coach Rolani. And this is why I think Jose Riviero should win it. Pirates are closing off the footballing season in South Africa, playing Seiko Kuna in the Nebag Cup final. Mm. Pirates could end the season finishing second with the trophy. Playing exciting football. And that is why I believe it's Jose Riviero. Could be him. I, I'm not I mad at that him. argument. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I think he's really like ignited passion back into the type of football. I right, think yeah. that's what is lacking when we watch Kaiser Chiefs play, when we're looking at these two Soweto I mean, giants. Mm. Um, but that is it. The DSTV Prem is officially over. There's one last game in uh, the South African... Footballing calendar. National calendar. Yeah. It is the Netbank Cup final. Pirates... Versus Colin's team, Seko Kune. Who do you think is going to win? Seko Kune. Okay, cool. Um, please drop a comment. Let us know what are your thoughts of this season. Um, do you think Pirates or Supersport could go into the next season? You know, mm. putting up a challenge against Sundowns. Could we potentially see Sean Bartlett coaching a PSL team or is Marisburg going to find a lifeline? And then let us know about your thoughts on the PSL Awards nominees. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Guys, we're also still trying to get to New Zealand and Australia for the 2023 Women's World Cup. So come through. It's never too late. Never too late. It's all love. Until next time, bye.